Hello, this is Jeff of Tal Flater Mouse. Today we have an absolutely fascinating project to demonstrate for you today. Today's viewer created projectile comes from no other than Evan Perry, also known as Rhinestone Hurricane. That is his YouTube channel name, not his stripper name. Now Evan actually calls these things the Castle Slug, but when I first saw these things, they looked so unusual, so alien that I decided to give them a new name, the Alien Probe. In fact, if I handed you one of these things and asked you what what the heck it is, you would probably find it hard to believe that it is actually a large caliber bullet. The Alien Probe has some pretty substantial weight behind it, weighing in at just over 31 grams, 1.1 ounces or 483 grains. For a 12 gauge projectile, this thing is quite long. It's almost one and three quarter inches in length. That's about 45 millimeters. In fact, it'll be a little challenging just to fit it into the shell. Now the big engineering challenge here is to obtain supersonic stability with this projectile with no fins and no spin. That's right, we'll be using a smooth bore to launch these things. Now take a look at that thing. Does it look like it would be stable without any spin? After all the hundreds of tests we've done, I look at this thing and I think it's just gonna tumble through the air. Now, I have to come up with a way to load these into a shell. So let's take a look at the cutaway. We'll be using 30 grains of long shot propellant, an X12X gas seal, a cork wad, and a very long two-piece discarding Sabo. The projectile rides inside the Sabo, so we have no barrel contact at all and it keeps it centered in the barrel. Velocity should be around 1,450 feet per second or 442 meters per second. After measuring the outside diameter of the projectile, I found them to be a little bit uh, undersized, so I added some paper shims to bulk it up even more. So we have like paper sabos also. Well, it's time to head out and see how these things fly. Welcome back, Talflator folks. Jeff behind the camera, OG out in front of the camera, holding today an alien probe that was sent to us by Evan down in Texas. You guys know him, you've seen him before. He sent us this lovely picture here of him and his forehead. <laughs> hey, so he's designed these things with a little, uh, I don't know, It's we call it the alien probe because look at those things. I mean, you guys have seen them on the tabletop already. They've got like four prongs in there. I think there's some barbed wire and a crowbar. All kinds of stuff in there. What do you it's call a, that nut in the top? Uh, yeah. well, it's a T-nut. T-nut? Yeah. It's a weird thing. Anyway, Evan has constructed these things. They're super long. We're going to fire. We've only got a few of them. We're going to shoot them downrange into some cool targets. I, I don't know if they'll stabilize. And he made them a little bit, little bit slim so that they're not a super tight fit in the Sabo. So Ooh. if we need rifling... I don't know so if we'll get the, the spin. The alien probe is not a tight fit, then Jeff is what you're is the right. That yeah, be the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, let's try Evan's alien probe and see how we can do downrange. Okay, we're, first shot is through a smooth bore. Smooth bore. I'm gonna aim at Kramer's face. Okay, let's see how she goes. We I'm are ready. I'm ready. Here we go. There we go. Did you hit it? Well, we hit something. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, maybe. It appears on the high speed camera. I saw a lot of uh, foam and other debris coming out of the back of this thing. So we had a Kevlar vest on here. Yeah. It hit. A little bit low. I was aiming for the face, but that's that's me. For the first shot, that's pretty darn good, though. Because it's, it's raining out here, and the raindrops hit the slug and pushed it Oh, down. that's what happened. Yeah. It downward out of there. And then it hit the vest right here. Nice big old cookie that's cutter. That's an ugly hole. vest, but it's still, it was a nice solid area of as the a, vest. As opposed to a pretty vest. Look at well, this. Look at that. Tore all that Kevlar stuff straight through there. Very good. I didn't expect that. And then... Uh, of course, the rest of this is just 80 layers of t-shirts. <laughs> yep, Ooh, yep. How many t-shirts has he got on now? A lot. That's the only thing. There's no body inside there. It's just, <laughs> it's just t-shirts. Five, six. <laughs> We're gonna be here all seven, day. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got 11, 12, 13, 14 t-shirts on, Jeff. I never take them off. I just keep adding more. Oh my God. Yeah, it just makes them bigger and bigger. Under that, he's commando. Under all that, though. Look at that. Yeah. 
And then out, out the back, I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but this is the one we can tell because it had the string flying out of the back. Yeah, that's so, a yeah. fresh hole. Okay, yeah. that very promising. I yeah. Like I told you, I didn't know if these things would fly stable or not. Being so long out of a smoothbore, that's pretty good. Well, when you got an anal probe going on, or alien probe, <laughs> where am I, brain? When you got a, an alien probe of whatever type going on, you want it to be stable and straight. You don't want it to get all cattywampus. <laughs> all right, let's go put Brandon away and get something else. Now the million dollar question, how did this slug fly? And remember, I predicted these things would tumble through the air, but look how steady that thing is. Has a little bit of a rock to it, which is normal for an unspun projectile. It's kind of uh, stabilizing itself as it's flying down range. Now remember, these things were never tested before, and Evan had a theory, just a simple theory, that they would be stable without any spin, and he was dead right. The guy is really good at this kind of stuff. Let's see what it does to the world famous lead plate. It looks like the moon. So that just kind of fits with the theme of the alien probe. <laughs> the moon. So does the four legged spider. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Get it. The target's a little smaller now. We'll see how, how uh, close he can get it. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Here we go. These tests really surprised me because I gave these things very little chance of working. And it always kind of delights me when I can be proven wrong like that and, and, uh, and still be surprised after all these years of testing. Okay, so we put out here the 30 pound Bitcoin and Jeff drew a little four legged spider on it. We hit again just a little bit low. About you were using the same point of aim. In same point of aim. Okay. Kramer's face it hit him in the neck. This uh, four-legged spider hit down here just it's, an inch low. We're starting to see a trend in accuracy. And and we are nothing if not trendy, Jeff. Yeah. Look at the little core down in there. Wow, it's way down. It got alien probed <laughs> all the way. See, it looks like a moon. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Did you pay extra for these little dots? Yeah, I did. I. It gives you a little grip when you're when you're putting this in your pocket. <laughs> and, uh, and then on the back, look, oh! almost wanted to break through. Is that a handheld camera you've got there, Jeff? It sure is. Boy, that pisses people off. That, you know what? Jeff has to hold the camera in his hand because you can't keep up with this kind of action out here. Yeah, right. Look at this. You never know where I'm going to be. I'm over here. I'm over here. Oh, I got you here. covered. <laughs> All, right. All right. Back to the serious stuff. Thank you, Michael, for sending it. He has sent me these in the mail like yesterday, so I thought, oh, wow. oh we... They're still fresh. They're still warm. Yeah, yeah. He sent some slugs, too, so we'll be trying those in the near future. All right. Okay, let's see if Greg can hit the hard drive. You're ready. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Actually. Oh. All right, here comes the alien probe flying really steady but it shot a little bit low and a little bit to the right we'll just blame greg for that one at least it showed how much energy it has when it impacts them and it, it's also a lot better than a complete miss right so we hit <laughs> i was aiming for generally up here it hit a little low but it hit right where yeah that one the the windage was off a little bit it looked like it was flying well though the, the weird thing yeah so uh, this is an actual old hard drive too. This is one of the original ones. Um, but you can see that it did hardly any damage to this. I mean, it's it, pretty it, good. The aluminum, the aluminum tough out. stuff. Yeah. And then this little guy, look at here. It's well, it's, kinda, it's reshootable, I guess. It tried to get through there. This is tough stuff too. Yeah, yeah. World famous Tel Flaterhead. It's a we got a mystery color inside today can't Mist totally can't tell what color it is mystery color <laughs> i think it might be green <laughs> all right i'm gonna aim between the glasses we'll see okay i'm ready here we go not bad not oh, bad broke his glasses again here we go oh. Good job. 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 Good job.
We had a great flying slug, very energetic reaction, and Greg was on fire with his precision shot landing it right on the nose. Aiming for the bridge, <laughs> bridge of the nose right here. Again, just a hair low. Not as low as the last one, though. Yeah, that was, I mean, like I was telling you, they're all handmade, so there's slight deviations between one one to the other. But man, opened up his schnoz right there. Broke the glasses, through the uh, through the nose, into the water bottle, blew half of the water bottle out. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Six or eight feet. Well, I think it came out this. Did it come out the top or this something? This was an old hole. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And when, yeah, you, that's... when you've got an old hole, you're <laughs> likely to lose all kinds of shit out of it. Look at this. Yeah, I think it just blew the top of the water bottle out. Nice soapy water. So what color did we determine this is? Uh, it's kind of a, well, it's kind of green. teal. Teal? You, you specifically it's, uh, chose aubergine. teal water. Aubergine it's color. Aubergine water. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. Blew the power aid right out of his skull on that one. Oh, I, I like trying different colors to see what shows up best, you know, which looks best on high speed. Okay, the Clear Blessings brand giant gummy bear. And we got two water jugs behind it, so maybe, maybe we can catch one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Wow. wow we, we, look at the hole in the water. I don't think we stopped it. We don't, I don't think we even slowed it down. Yeah, look at that. Here we go. Here comes the alien probe, low and fast, and kapooya. Enough power to hydroshock both water jugs, and it just kept on trucking after that. I think Evan needs to apply to be an engineer at, uh, you know, like a major ammo company or maybe even spacex he could probably help them get to mars we put the uh, bowling guy down range at uh, 50 yards away we're gonna see uh, there's a little tiny blue x in the middle of his shirt we're gonna see if we can't plop one of these rounds down there i'm gonna hold right on the x so you guys will see if there's any drop or not right yeah we thought that'd be a safe bet this has been pretty consistently um well they might have dropped a little bit, but they've been consistently accurate as far as windage goes. So I'm confident we're going to hit the torso. Just don't know how high vertically. Yeah, I think the safest bet is to hit that, just aim at that blue cross there. Yeah. That's what we will do when you're ready. Blue tape. Wow, we got him. You definitely got him. It kind of looks like high torso. Wow, we got him. That's not bad. Uh, not too bad. I mean, that's a six inch drop. However, 50 yards with an experimental hand made round. <laughs> we don't we don't even try most of the rounds on this channel at 50 yards. Yeah, yeah. So I was holding here on the blue X, six inches low, good impact. You saw a little puff of stuff. Well, look at this. All kinds yeah, of- Yeah, he's all full of like uh, foam, insulating foam. Foam bukkake. Actually, it's Three Brothers Construction, so it is three guys Three guys plumbing. Three guys slug bukkake. <laughs> Not bad though. I'm impressed. I I gave these things very little chance of flying stable. Did you ever stable. doubt Evan? Evan? I, every time. That's my mistake. And he hand whittles this stuff using like a drill as a lathe. And, yeah. Uh, you know, like an old rusty butter knife it, and a nail. And, <laughs> so, an old yeah. sharpened file or something, you know. I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of primitive uh, machining. And he does a great job at it. Yeah. And he, uh, not just that, but he understands supersonic aerodynamics where he could create something like that that is actually stable in flight without a spin. And that that's the hard part. And you guys can catch him over on his channel. He's Rhinestone Hurricane, right? That's right. Check yeah. him out. I, I always put a link in there. Yeah. We also have a playlist of all his, oh, this is my, this be like 37th yeah. entry. He's really good. Rhinestone Hurricane here on YouTube. You can watch him make these things, and it's actually pretty interesting. It may not be action-packed. He needs to explain what he's doing, though. That would help. 
Okay, good luck. I'm ready. Here we go. Wow. Woo. Wow. Woo. The alien probe did pretty well on the gel. It didn't dump a lot of energy, but it sure penetrated that gel block without any effort. Now we are hoping to capture at least one of these slugs so we could send it back to Evan, but this one slipped by us. That's how uh, mysterious these slugs are. Now this is a good opportunity to thank our channel members and our Patreon supporters. Donations are down by about 50% from about four years ago. But it's understandable. I even asked people to stop donating if they uh, needed to, you know, sp spend money on cat food sandwiches or whatever we have to eat these days. So I was aiming actually for the kind of the upper half of this six-inch block. Yeah, to kind of compensate for the height over barrel. And my, you know, downward trajectory. Yeah. However, I hit low. It took a little. They've all been low. It took a little low dive through here, but then as it exited. Jeff said it was actually kind of angled upward. So what's Travis doing here? <laughs> um, it was angled upward. It made a hell of a wound track through here, a little churro of death through the middle. It hit our vest, somehow squirted past our vest. We yeah, really I thought it. for sure we were gonna capture one for Evan. But we have searched this vest and there is no slug in it. So Tomorrow morning I'm headed back up to the frozen woods of Idaho, so I won't be around, but Thanks for having me on the last couple of episodes. It was good being with you guys again. And uh, I'll be back. I'll be back in, I don't know, January, February again. So awesome, awesome. We'll get some more shooting in. But meanwhile, if you're super bored, uh, take a look over at OG's Danger Show. We yep. Got some more snowy snowy conditions coming up. Oh, beautiful snowy. It looks like a, a picture postcard. Yeah. Yep. And I've got three uh, rifles being sent to me right now. They're all going to get what? featured here in the next month. So. I, I don't get any cool sponsors like that. I, I got I know. the last sponsor I got was for bamboo chopsticks <laughs> one of them i had to buy but it'll be absolutely cool the other two were actually donated to the show for me to show on the uh, on the channel so i'm kind of excited about giving those things a workout in the snow if we can get up to my shooting site it's kind oh. of tough to find places to shoot up there <laughs> buried in six eight feet of snow right now yeah we don't know we don't even know what snow is here unless no. you go up to the you have fog in the morning that's yeah, it. yeah, well, anyway, and a little bit of rain. It, it Very rare rain. Today. It is rain today. It'll help with the crops there. Look at that beautiful green crop. Yes, sir. You'll see rain once again in April, and then no more rain until next November. That's how it works here. The, way the Central Valley goes. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for stopping by. You guys be safe out there.